and welcome back to Decorators Unleashed, the design show where we take your boring old cowl structure and make it into something a bit more interesting. So we have our client over here. Hello. You want a better building, don't you? Of course you do. Like, this place is ugly. City you shouldn't, you shouldn't even be living in here. It's just... Oh, it's just a piece, just a piece of trash. What we're going to do today is we're going to make it better. We're going to make it much better indeed. We're going to change the outside. We're going to make it look a million times better. It's going to be like best building in this whole set of three kind of buildings. It's going to beef up the inside, it's going to be a huge lobby and all that fun stuff. You're going to be so thrilled, you're going to be jumping off the ceiling with excitement or something. But yeah, let's get to work. The first thing we're going to do is going to, actually we probably want to discuss this, first thing we want to do is figure out what kind of box you want to do. You don't really feel like talking, do you? No, you, you, you're still... He's still not in talky mood. So I, I'll, I'll choose for you. I, I decided to look at the block options. Um, so we have many blocks here. We have phantom blocks, which is sparkly, but no, that's not what we want. Um, we have amber blocks. So this is a li little too orange. Uh, we have uh, enhanced Calcadonian blocks. Ooh, these look really nice. Ooh, these look, these look really expensive. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Maybe a bit too expensive. We got... I see two block hearts. I don't know what that is. We have some angel blocks. Maybe you want, maybe you want an angel block structure. Or maybe a red note block structure. Maybe you just want it made entirely out of spawn block and chain goblins. That, that's what you want, isn't it? Uh, spawn block and chain goblin thing. No, that's not what you want. You want something nice. And that's what we're here to figure out what, how to do that. So, let's, let's take a look at the nearby color scheme. Um, <laughs> see, we got, we got some corried and some blackstone, and some frostbound. Yeah, it's white, black, and some blue. Uh, this is not done. So I'm thinking you, you want to go with some, maybe some gray to show off the niceness. So do we have anything that's nice and gray? That's nice, but gray. Hmm. There's some colored bricks. That could work. I guess it's nice colored bricks. Let's, let's take a look at that. Oh, easy way. No, do I have... As you can see on the show, we are always so professional and so ahead of the game, you don't even know what we're doing. Oh, it hit it automatically. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's just put that away. And then we can do this. Make me a stack of that. We could try that out on your nice structure here. We're also probably going to want some columns in the corner like this building has. You can the white, the, the black. Uh, and those, hmm, what can we do for those? I'm thinking, thinking something brownish. Maybe some rubber wood. Beautiful. Not that. Let's do this. Just as a little template right now, feel free to change it once we're done, but of course you're not going to want to. This place is going to be amazing. And there we have it, what a corner post is going to look like. Oh yeah, that's si simply marvelous. Just marvelous. Okay, do we have our bricks? It's not making our bricks. It's missing some ink. Stars. You're spawning squid, aren't you? You should be spawning squid. Why are you not spawning squid? Energy. May have a bit of a problem. But that's that's no problem for us. We, we are professionals here. We always have a backup plan. So let's come over to here. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh, gravel. Do you want a nice gravel building? Or maybe redwood. Oh, that'd look really nice. Let's do that. Let's try it. J just, just for, just for trying sakes. Let's see how it looks. Got redwood. Boom. Oh, oops. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. This is coming together. This is coming together really nice right here. Tell you nothing. Nothing's gonna beat this building right here. Oh yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh yeah. It's just so gorgeous. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Now, system died. Why'd the system die? Technical difficulties, I'll be right back. Hmm. That's a problem. So, this system's had a little bug in it that's just annoyed me so much since the very beginning. And just a problem with logistics pipes that simply don't want to work. Go up the hole. <sighs> it's just... Problem is, it's not pulling items out of these. The items get in here and they just back up, so this is so the, the tree farms just stop working. So what happened is the tree farms got backed up on items and they stopped cutting down trees. That's the first thing that happened, and that probably happened a while ago. So we stopped getting saplings and wood. That, again, that happened a while ago. The squeezers, there's a 10% chance when you squeeze an apple you get mulch. So squeeze 640 apples, you get a stack of mulch, and that mulch just kind of sits there until you come in and manually pull it out. The squeezers stop working. The squeezers stop working, you stop getting juice. The juice doesn't go into here. This stops working. You start running off this. This is not nearly as efficient. The tank slowly runs out of power. These stop giving off power. And when these start, stop giving off power. This has been my most reliable source of energy since the beginning. These stop giving off power. I don't have power to power the tree farms. To power, to power the tree farms. To power the fermenters. To power the squeezers. And I'm pretty sure this system running everything is also running low on power. I also run out of power to power enough power. I run out of wood. I run out of enough power to power the ME system, which provides this with charcoal. Which why aren't you outputting? I think the system's just out of power at this point. Which means these steam boilers stop working. When the steam boilers stop working, you just run out of steam. Then you run the so steam engine stop working. It's my second most powerful source of energy. And these empty. These are using to power the ME system, which is giving them their fuel back. So when that when they stop, this it stops running. It's a feedback system that got cut. Feedback stopped coming in, and now it's literally just at a standstill. The tree is at a standstill. Let's try to figure this out. Um, where is the tesseract that... Uh, this one right here. This tesseract is outputting. Ascend energy. I'm going to grab this. I grabbed it, right? Cool. Now where I want to put this, and it's stuck in walls, is down here. Wait about hey spider. By the way, solar array. Um, do this. Do this. Is this maxed out? It's not. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do this. Um, main energy. And that thing produces by far the most energy I have right now. But it's all being used up probably for this tree farm back here. Which I don't need at the moment. Stop. Where is it going? Okay, first of all, it's only receiving 35. It can receive way more than 35. Each of these produces 16. Two of these produces almost 35. And I have 14 of them. So There's way more energy than that. It must be going to the big tree. 
Which I'm going to sleep because last time I didn't, there was a creeper in the tree. Mm, this one? Go in. Th That's the wrong portal. Oh. Here. How are we doing? Oh, we got biomass coming in. Cool, cool. It's it's restart systems restarting. I stopped the pumping of biomass out. I'll start that again. These things are gonna need more lava, at least some of them are. And that can restart that, which is no longer outputting to there. Oh my god, I'm just Is this even going anywhere? I don't think this is doing anything, it's not. These are two backup cells that I don't want to use right now. They are in case this place blows up. Which it very well could, because I have high pressure steam boilers. Three, four, five, six. Let's get these things restarted. It's gonna just eat through this. 46 tick, 23 tick cook time. Let's get another two stacks going. Let me, let me work, work at this a little bit. It's, it's starting back up. I can get it going again. That's a good thing to see. Okay, I think I got the system in a stable position again. In an almost stable position again. Um, this is running. The um, the logistic system's running. You can see it's actually smelting the, the charcoal. It's never done that in like forever. I've had to do this manually. Got this making steam again. Which means these are going to be running. Each of these produces eight, which is great. Eight is great, mate. Uh, these obviously just being drained to restart everything in main base energy. I still have the power over there being converted, so I'm not getting any ore right now. Which is not ideal, but for right now it'll have to do. Um... My supply of bones is fine. My supply of gold nuggets is obviously unnecessary. Another thing I did and I forgot to say. Oh, oh yeah. This is troublesome. This lag. Entity count. 500. Look at all them entities. Someone's got a pumpkin in his head. Yeah, I came over here on Halloween. Um... This is a problem. These things don't have spawning limits, and they even spawn when you're not there. So if you're not killing them fast enough, it'll get out of hand very fast. Um, I may have I think that sped up the world a little bit. That may have oh no, that was a power problem. But now I got squids again, which means I can be making more biofuel these little bioreactors. Yep, these things are filling up nice. To find more power to the system, make sure it's jump started again. And yeah, the feedback loop is restored. Be beautiful. Actually, I am still getting ore because I put in a solar panel right here. This produces 64 EU per tick, which an EU is, what is that, 4 to 16. So, um, two and a half mj is one eu so two eu is five mj so 32 no that's not right backwards five eu is two mj so 64 um that'd be 20 a little more than 24 mj per tick which is about one and a half of these but you don't need to provide it with anything and i also made it auto craft it it took a little while and some resources but yeah, I can just auto craft medium voltage and high voltage, but that takes thousands of ingots, which I don't have right now. The system jump started. Thanks for that. That was the commercial break. Back to the back to the show. So obviously you got this house. You want it to look cool. You want it to look hip. So let's let's help you. Let's help you with that. Oh yeah. Never worry about having to pay that cool, that air conditioning bill. House cools itself. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. No, I got rid of some of the redwood. Hmm. 
that is a beautiful touch right there. Let's see what else we got in here. How about some of this frostbound? Nah, that's boring. Force bricks. I can craft force bricks. Have to be another stack just in case. Let's try some of these. Mm. Oh yeah, yes. Oh yes, it's beautiful. What do you think? Oh, you're speechless, aren't you? Yep. Time for interior stuff. Obviously, you're gonna want some nice carpet floor. Uh, I mean, wool floor. Uh, what do I have for string then? Not much. String. How do you? Get, how can you get wool easily? I feel like there's an easy way to do this. Um, I have twelve. Ah, oh, I don't have any wool carpet. That's fine. You can have an end stone floor. Who else would have an end stone floor? but you. It's unique. It's individual. It's exactly what you want, right? Right. And I can go through a portal. Yeah, you're just, you're going to be ecstatic with this new floor. It's going to be just amazing. Yeah, the walls too. So you know what? They deserve a little couch. And I'm going to be so generous, I'm going to put a couch on this side too. Oops, I can't place box. Yes, I can. Oh, that's area mode. You can hide some of the stuff you don't see. Mm-hmm. That's for the bad people, you don't want to talk to them, so you tell them to go sit in the corner. And now the receptionist is going to need a place to, to stand. And obviously you're going to want that to be similar to the outside, so you're going to have... Yeah, let's do that, let's do it. Little zigzaggy. See, you already have you already have your first guest. I mean, look at this. Hey, hey sir, you want, you want to come see, speak with the, the manager? Yeah, you're going to have to go wait in the reception area. Come on, this area, this area is just for you over here. Let's get, let's get you in here. Come on. I mean, this area is just for you. I mean, look at it. We obviously want to talk to you so much. You get you get the special areas for people we really want to talk to. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. There you go. Right in there. Just wait, and he'll be he'll be ready to speak to you as soon as he's done with his current appointment of breathing or something. Uh, so let's give... Um, yeah, sand. Sand would look really nice here. Obviously, you should get some like pillars or something. Oh yeah, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. Hey, hey. Oh, it's it's night time. We're closed, right? Sorry, forgot. Um. Yeah. So, what do you think? Huh? It's it's, it's amazing, isn't it? It's it's so. Out of the ordinary and unexpected, it's just beautiful. I know, you're so speechless. And you're going to get moved to the top floor. I'm thinking right over here, somewhere in this corner. Just, just a general sketch. You can put an elevator over here. And over here, you can put a staircase for the lame people. Yeah. 
but that's what we're gonna do. Okay, sound like a plan? Yep. And it's just gonna, it's gonna look exactly like this. It's just gonna be amazing. Oh yeah. Um, is there anything else I want to do before we say it's good? Oh, yeah, this magic wand. You know what? I I should totally whack out this magic wand. I forgot. As for um, for being such a loyal customer and greatly increasing our ratings on our show, uh, we're gonna we're gonna allow your your beautiful structure here to be tapped with the, the magic wand of magicity. See, it's amazing, isn't it? See, just look at it. Ooh. So let's do that. Here we go. Sorry. Thanks for watching. Bye.